On this week's experimental game show, it's not about what you know, it's about what you can do. This week in the garage, some faces you might recognize, some games you can try at home, and we have pushed the budget just a little bit. We've got some music and a countdown timer. Welcome to the Game Garage. Today we are playing Above Average, and playing it with me are... Hello, I'm Cambria. My name's Guy. I'm Taha. And I would ask you how you all know each other, but to be honest, I know you. But let's be honest, I've brought some friends in for this one. How do you all know each other? They spent a week, two weeks, five weeks in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to give context to that? Or should I say that as is? Uh... That, that went up. That started a week in the basement, then it became five weeks. <laughs> yeah. and... I think it'll be six by the time we're done. Yeah. yeah. What, what are you doing in your basement? We're animating a music video. <laughs> so okay. we need no natural light and we need something exactly like this room. I so... was going to say, you, you, this, is, this is familiar territory for you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And actually, if you, what's the music video? Is it stop motion? So, like, things on a table being yep. moved about. Yeah. Model making. Which is kind of the games we're doing here today. Ah, right. You guys have been inadvertently practicing. Yeah. This isn't yeah. fair. We've been training for this. <laughs> the last five weeks have led up to this. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, who's, who's been actually filming the video? Because you, you guys yeah. have been animating. I've occasionally been clicking. Right. You're um, telling us we've been over budget. <laughs> yeah, but mainly just, you know, telling them off for not moving yeah. <laughs> things. Not going home. <laughs> yeah. You need to leave. It's like 1 a.m. <laughs> you need to go home. You're going to have three games today plus a final. Every one of those games that you are above average in is going to make the final easier. And the final is hopefully where you're going to win some money. And above average means you are beating the average of the seven people that you're playing against today. Here's who you're up against. We have Saf from Super Saf TV. He is our tech reviewer. Lucy Bella Earl from English with Lucy, our English teacher, obviously. Hannah Witten, sex educator, vlogger, author, a whole load of other things that uh, I couldn't fit in that caption. Uh, in his motorized armchair, Colin Furs, uh, inventor in his shed. M. Ford from My Pale Skin, she's our beauty expert and a load of other things besides. Uh, Stephen Bridges, magician. Uh, if you're wondering why he's not waving at you, it's because I forgot to ask him to on camera. Uh, and happily waving at you is Barry Lewis, chef. Those are the seven. What do you think? Colin Furs, I think, is just going to like invent something in those 60 seconds that's going to help yeah. him. I'm Saf is going to be an interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much he knows about the technology he reviews. Um, but if he knows anything, then I think that's going to be be difficult. Definitely Stephen Bridges. Yeah. He's he's a mm. he's a tricky he's man. He's a crafty guy. <laughs> yeah. he's sneaky. All right. Let me show you what your first game is. Hold as many pencils as you can in one hand. You have one minute. I am going to give it a little thing. I feel quite lucky that I have freakishly long fingers, so this might come in handy. Oh, OK, yeah, I have tiny hands. People haven't thought about it this much, have they? Um... You can use anything you like to get the pencils into your hand, but at the end of the minute, they must be held off the table using just one hand. No other objects, no other parts of your body. Pencils are counted at the end of the minute. Good luck. I just wish that I brought a Mickey Mouse glove with me. <laughs> <laughs> One of the like, big Incredible Hulk hands, and like, Ugh. I've never owned so many pencils! This is new territory! Look, there's two up there in the cupboard. I bet they're the same make. Do I have an advantage? Spoiler, Colin did not have an advantage. Oh. oh so the first, uh, the first decision of the show for you folks is who is going to be up there playing game one. Game one is worth one point. Game two is going to be worth two. Game three is going to be worth three. Definitely me. I have huge hands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I, mine are much bigger. Um, I feel like... Yeah, yeah OK, yeah. <laughs> you know, he can, like, like almost crush my up. fingers with your fingers. Yeah. You're, you've got, like, an engineering background. I feel like that's an advantage. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I mean, I, I say engineering background. Yeah, but like, yeah. I, you've made I did like a, physics. <laughs> that's good enough for me. Yeah. You've made a paper bridge before in your time, yeah. I guess, right? Made uh, cardboard conveyor belts for yes. a project. Yes. OK. So don't ask. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that's enough. I think yeah. so. I've got some ideas. All right, Taha, please take the table. Any tactics? Yeah, I think I'm going to make like a splint and then have two layers of, of, of pencils on either side to try and get a lot of them. What is that? <laughs> I think we've, we've picked the right person. <laughs> I, just grab I am so glad you're on our team. Well. I, I, think, I think I'm like, I'm like pretty confident I can get a sizable chunk of these. Your time starts when you first touch a pencil. OK. Oh my god, OK. <laughs> oh. Uh, right, OK. OK, so I put these. And you're going you're gonna to tell me, like, time-wise, what's going on. Right, so I'm thinking, 
this can be like this, and then if I put half of them 15 here, seconds gone. I can use these to hold these and then put another half up here. Uh. You've used half your time. Ah, don't do this. And then if I hold them like this, no. Right, I'm just gonna have to give, give up on that. 15 seconds left. <laughs> right. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's it. That's it. All right, I'm going to come in and sweep these pencils away. All right, there we go. There's still one on the thing. There we go. All right. You can put those down. And while we're counting those, let's see how the others did. I could build a little pencil thing that could then hold that's the best bet. Pencil there, pencil there, pencil there, pencil there, creating a little pencil basket. Oh, this is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Maybe if we like flatten them and just like lay them all on top, that might be the best way to go, I think. Ooh, this is quite... Ah, oh. okay, okay. I feel like it's all going horribly wrong already. Wow, okay. If I kind of try to balance as many as I can on here. Oh, Colin, as a practical man, you should just excel at this. Half your time, Doctor. I feel like men might have an advantage here. I'm trying to create, like, a web. Starting to think that pencil basket was not the wisest choice. Abandoning pencil basket. Ten seconds. Oh, that feels wobbly. I'm happy with this. Five. One. Shit. Time. Amazing. How okay. was that for you? That was, like, I'm pretty optimistic now that I've seen that. Um, no one went for any sort of strategy. It was all kind of just... I mean, they started out with one. Yeah. Stephen, had, Stephen had a great plan with yeah. his pencil basket. I just, I just didn't understand, like... Yeah, I just felt like it wasn't an efficient use of space. My whole thing came from... Um, we went to Pizza Hut once with my uncle, and... Uh, this was in Pakistan, and you have to, they charge every salad bowl. Um, so we got one salad bowl, and he was an engineer. So we used the Dorito chips to make oh. a building of salad bowls. <laughs> and so I was trying to like replicate that. I've got some stats for you. Okay. Um, first of all, you got 106 pencils. That so one you, at the end. You got more, yeah, you got more than half there, and that one might make the difference. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you that the best score was M. Ford. Okay. Uh, she said she had freakishly long fingers, 142 pencils. Whoa. Whoa! But I also tell you that the worst score, and I won't say who this is, 60. Okay, okay. You got 106. Yeah. Their average is 103. Wow! <laughs> yes! Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> that is one point. <laughs> Your wow. Dorito Bowl story works, I love it. You are above average. Let's see what the second game is. Count backwards from a number in multiples of another number. You must throw the beanbag in the air while you say each answer, and you must catch it afterwards. Pick a beanbag. Orange. orange. Or yellow. Orange. I'm going to go with orange. Yeah. What's the beanbag for? You have to get a 10, 8, or something like that. Yes. How are you at mental arithmetic? Oh, dude. Um, average, I wouldn't say I'm um, an expert. I got, was okay to a certain level at school, and then as soon as it got more complicated. <laughs> Mental arithmetic. So, if I asked you to count back from 100 in fives, the answers would be 100, 95, 90, and so on. You can only say each answer while the bag's in the air. If you say the wrong answer, drop the bag, or if you say the answer too early or too late, the chain is broken. Your score is the highest chain you achieve at any point within the one minute. Good luck. I can't multitask to save my life. This may not be your game, then. No, I don't think it is. Feels like I'm on the Krypton factor. <laughs> not just about mass fishes, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> what do you think? 
I was so bad at maths. Oh no, it's the it's the multiples. Oh, <laughs> this is what I was worried about. Maths test. Taha's like our maths guy. This is yeah. this is my thing. <laughs> Oh. I'm going to point out that you cannot shout numbers in from the Feel free to shout advice, okay, but okay. there's no shouting numbers in at whoever's up there. Can I say okay. things that rhyme with numbers? <laughs> 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 if you can think of them that fast, then yes, <laughs> I say, yeah. Look, bet between us, mm -hmm. like, you're the producer <laughs> of Penny Four. <laughs> But can you throw I beanbags? Knew you were is the do this. See, I was going to say, I think person. I'm better at beanbags than I am at maths. <laughs> you're better at beanbags than maths. Yeah, and I'm not. And you're better it's, at maths than me. It's the backwards so... and timetables that upset me here. Okay, <laughs> it's it's not like tell me to calculate a budget and I'm there. I think you yeah. should right? think about. I think you should think about it as n like taking away numbers rather than multiples. Like uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Like, I, I'm just really hoping it's like fives or twos or tens. <laughs> okay. I think I've been volunteered. All right. Cambria, for two points, please take to the table. Sorry. <sighs> Not actually part of the game, but pick a beanbag. Go for green. Go for green and sweep the others to the side then, please. Are you ready? As I'll ever be. Going to ask you to count backwards from 500 in sevens. Your time starts now. 500. 400. Start again. 500. 493. You caught too early. Try again. Wow. <laughs> 500. 493. Can <laughs> we just say like the numbers? Can we do yeah, that? Yeah, you can do that. 493. 493. Okay. That's not helping. Okay, sorry. <laughs> 486. Yes. 479. Yes, half your time's gone. God, this is so much pressure. I was never good at this. 479. Um, 462. No. no. 472. Ah. <laughs> I just want to say 500. That. I know. 500. 493. 486. 479. 472. Five seconds. 465. Time. Oof. 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 I'm so glad that wasn't me. <laughs> while you're recovering from that, and while we're checking the tape, let's see how they did. Time starts now. I can't even count from 28 in seven. At 500, 400. In the air. 500. Wasn't in the air. 500. 493. 493. Start again. 493. 487. No, wrong number. Start again. 479. 493. Oh, 399. Oh my god, did I just go to 300? 493. You caught too early, so. F you! I hate this game. 487. No, wrong number, start again. <laughs> 479. 458. Four. Nope. 479. 472. Yes. 472. 472. Nope, start again. I'll throw it at you in a minute. 486. Dropped it. 458. 451. 451. 400. No. 457. No. No. Oh no, bastard. I might just sit here. 423. Why is this so hard? 487. 487. 486. 444. Yes. 451. 416. 493. That's time. I got one. Oh my god. That was abysmal. So I guess we can swear in this show then. <laughs> You'll get bleeped. You'll get bleeped. Everyone hated this game. Good. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't okay. see why. I'm apart, very happy. Apart from Saf, who yeah. just seemed able to do it. Seems like a tech reviewer. Classic <laughs> yeah. tech reviewer trait. Knows numbers. How much did he pull down the average or up the average? Quite a bit. Oh no. Oh dear. So we went back to the tape, you got five in a row. The average was 5.1. Oh, oh no. Wow. No, no, you got to round that. <laughs> yeah, you got to round that. I can't it. do, I did 5.1. I didn't complete the time. I did 5.1. <laughs> Sorry, Cambria, on this one, you were not above average. I, oh. But there is still another game to play. Guy, this is the last game. It's going to be yours. It's for three points. Let's see what you're playing. Build the tallest tower from sugar cubes. You have one minute. How are you at uh, construction? Average, I guess. We'll see. 
Technically, the pressure's on because, you know, everyone would expect me to be good at this. The big question is whether you go vertically or I'm going to go for more stability and more cubes is what I'm going to go. I think that'll, that'll be better. Oh, they're, they're not all equal dimensions, are they? That's, that's interesting because I'm trying to think if it's kind of like sugar Jenga. You can only use the cubes and your body to assemble the tower, no props or other structures. The tower must stand long enough to be measured. Your score is the tower height at the end of the minute. Good luck. <sighs> I was born for this. I was, this is all I've been leading up to my whole life. I'm not very good at these things, but we'll go. This is my game again. <laughs> these are all your games. Can we just submit Taha? <laughs> we will just be your like emotional support animal. We'll just... <laughs> I have I, I have a question. Yeah. It's a bit disgusting. Okay. Can you use saliva? Oh, what a question. Well, the rules say you can use your body. <laughs> And the sugar cubes. So, <laughs> yes, yes, that, that's an entirely valid approach. Um, I, the thing is, wouldn't I don't cement, know whether that will help. Would th wouldn't that just dissolve them? And the, yeah, the cement uh, spit? I just, yeah. I'm just thinking, like, I don't know, but it's good to know that that's there if we need it. Three points. Guy, please take to the table. Time starts when you touch a sugar cube. Okay. 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 Like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. stack them diagonal. Yeah. I'm gonna pick them up like this. Okay, I'm gonna do them in fours. 15 seconds gone. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put them there, like that. Yeah. The nerves don't help your fingers, do they? Right. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Is this feeling pretty steady? Half your time. Yeah. I think I'm feeling I... good. Any advice? I think that Keep going, once, you, once you get to like <laughs> 10 seconds, you start just stacking them one yeah. by one. Go yeah. for it. Okay, it might fall then. Yeah. So we don't want it to fall. It's pretty stable. 15 seconds. Okay. I would, I would, this is your lot. Now just go one by one. Okay. 10. Five. Come on. Right, place it closer to you a little bit. Hands off. All right, that is. Get that a bit closer without knocking it over. That is 19.2 centimetres. Come on back, we'll see how everyone else did. I was going to try and single, single cube it. Oh, they're really difficult to, to grab, actually, aren't they? Trying to build a bit of a base so it doesn't fall over. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. This is why I suck at life, isn't it? I wonder if it would have been sensible just to do one. <gasps> oh, this is getting a bit... They're quite light, aren't they? I've changed my tactic. Oh, my... Oh, no, it doesn't like that either. Right. <laughs> it. I'm afraid if I do any more, it's going to block. Time. No, no, you don't! Stop, hands down. No! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, I don't know. See, I thought that was pretty strong, but now I'm not so sure. Mm. But we've got quite a lot of zeros in there. There's a lot of zeros, yeah. you're right. There's yes, a lot of yeah, really, really low down. ones, yeah. I will tell you that technically, Stephen scored 1.7 centimetres. Wow. Um, I, I wasn't really going to point out who the worst was, but <laughs> it, Gives it, it, was, it was Stephen. I will also tell you that the best score in there uh, was 22.8 mm. centimetres. What did we do Okay. What did you get? We got like 19 points. Ah, you got 19.2. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good now. But like looking at them, like it looks way yeah, higher than, yeah. than that looks like currently. Guy, you got 19.2 centimetres. They got 13.8. Three yes. points are yours. Boy, boy. Yes. Sugar cube king. <laughs> I am the only failure out of the three of us. And to be fair, that was very, By very, very close. Point, yeah. very one. <laughs> point one. I think yeah. it did pretty well. The one person who beat you uh, was Lucy. English teacher. Oh, she managed wow. twenty two point eight with just, just yeah. very stable so cues. That, yeah. uh, is that like? Is that like one more sugar cube than me then? 
Uh, one or two. Yeah. yeah. It was wow. very, very close. Wow. So you're on four points, which is a pretty good position to be in. Every one of those points is going to help you in the final game. Let's find out what it is. Build and knock down a domino line between these two pencils. Every person you beat gets your team a bigger prize. Are you good with dexterity, things like that? Uh, I guess we'll find out. If I screw up this one, that's just bad, isn't it? That's just going to make me look like a terrible magician. You can use any number of dominoes you like. The first domino must be placed behind the first pencil, and the last domino must fall past the second pencil. All the dominoes must fall in one continuous run. If not all of them fall, you have to rebuild, so be quick, but be careful. Good luck. I've never been that good at dominoes, but now it's all about to change. OK. You ready? I'm ready. The good news is you don't have to beat all seven this time. You got four points in the earlier rounds. So that means you get to eliminate four people from this game. Big decision. Who do you want it to be? He's, he's really fast with their hands. I think Stephen Bridges. Stephen Bridges Stephen is Bridges. definitely yeah. the most dexterous, right? We've yeah. also got, surely, like, anyone who works with their hands in any capacity should go. I, f I feel like um, Colin Furs will just will, will be, like, just good at this. Mm. I also think yeah. M. Ford should go. Yeah. Mainly because, like, I feel like makeup requires really fine motor skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah. going to be dexterous. Who did really well in the, like, stacking challenge? Who's, like, very... That was, that was Lucy. 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 So was... Yeah, so she, I think she would be really good at this, right? She's got a steady yeah, hand. Yeah. Just to be clear, you're getting rid of Stephen, Lucy and Colin. You need to choose one more. Hannah, Barry, M, or Saf. I think we wipe out Hannah. What do you think? It's Hannah or Saf for me. And it's... You're saying Hannah? I'll go Hannah. Yeah, Hannah. All right, let's see Hannah. All right, so you're removing Stephen, Lucy, Colin, and Hannah. You're going to be going up against Barry, M, and Saf. If you beat one of the three, you've got 1,000 pence. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Two of the three, 2,000 pence. If you beat all three, 5,000 pence. One more decision to make. Who's doing it? I think I could like be quite delicate with it. I, I would say I'm okay. okay. Could you be quick with it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't okay. know. We'll I think out. I could be quick with it and be calm under pressure. Well, how about you? I think I'd be fine at it, but I think okay. I've got two people who've been animating in a room for the last five weeks in front of me. <laughs> um, I'll probably take a step back from this one because I think okay. you guys are possibly more meticulous with your hands than me. Okay. okay. So if you want to do it, you go for it. Just throw me under the bus if I lose. Um, I, I, I would, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Taha, please take to the table. Oh, no. Everyone on screen is going to start when you touch a domino. Okay. You ready? And... Uh, all right, let's go over there. Please go here. Don't get in the way of your own path as well. Oh, yeah. Good shout. Use the grain of the table as a straight edge as well. I don't, the grain is not helpful enough. Damn it! Oh. Um, I'm, I'm relying on you guys to tell me if I'm going too far. Okay, yeah, you've probably got time. Stuff done. What? Oh. Okay. How? Keep going, keep going, don't think about that. That's good. Remember, you really do want to cross that line. One more. You really want to cross that line. Yeah, go, go, go. Yes! <laughs> okay. So first of all, 2,000 pence. Congratulations. Uh, I can give that to you right now. There it is. <laughs> Life-changing money. Thank you. I can get home. <laughs> I want to hold it like a check. Yeah, we all have to like awkwardly hold it here. <laughs> You could not have won more at the speed you were going. That was absolutely perfect. Congratulations. You were above average. That's yours. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time at the Game Garage.